absolutely no better feeling of a fresh cut. I haven't put any paste in it yet or, or combed it or anything, but once I do, it should look pretty fire. Anyways, welcome to today's video. All right, so me and a couple friends are at the local park. There's a set of woods back in the back here that are out shooting pictures. In today's day, I'm not huge on how big social media and technology has started to run our lives. I think it's out of sight, how much social media affects everything we do and the appearance that we have to portray for ourselves on it. But however, that's reality. When people check your social media, that's their first impression of you if they don't know you already. So you should have good looking photos of yourselves, of other surroundings on your Instagram just to show who you are as a person. My friend Evan here, who's a freelance photographer, I'll tag his Instagram page or YouTube in the description. He's gonna give us three tips today to ensure that you know how to take pictures, that your Instagram pictures are as good as they can be, and overall how to take awesome pictures. So, here's number one. All right, first tip to shooting good photos, make sure you have good lighting. You don't wanna shoot on like a really sunny day, and if you do, you're gonna wanna find places that are shadowed, so there's not like a harsh layer from the sun, cause it'll just mess up the picture. But like right here, as you can see, it's about 5 p.m. and it's like, pretty overcast and it's great for pictures because there's not going to be any of those harsh shadows. Grab a phone, nice phone. Yeah, I'll get one. You gonna hold the camera? I got you. <laughs> it's because you try, you try to act too hard. Yeah. You're like, you know what I mean? Just kind of relax. I think you gotta be natural. Everything should be super Yeah, don't be on roids. Be natural, yeah. bro. You know? All natty. Yeah, come, yeah. Okay, here's tip number two, and it has to do with how to look professional in your Instagram photos using an iPhone. The best way to make like a subject look like it's professional is to make sure that it's obviously in focus so you want the face in focus depending on how close you are and the big thing is to get that background so it's blurred out so it separates so it's like the subject is separated from the background and you can do that post processing if you need to but for the most part as long as you're pretty close to the subject you should have some of that background blur Okay, tip number three. So we covered good lighting, get that blurred background. The next tip is to add some type of filter or color correction, because without it, the picture may look kind of dull, but with it, it will kind of bring it to life. It will really separate your pictures from like the rest that don't have filters on them. Anything in particular, should we uh, upgrade the brightness or I know like iPhone filters have like a blue or a red color tone. Like adjuster, mm -hmm. anything specifically. You gotta do what looks best. You don't wanna film it too bright. They'll be overexposed and you can't really do anything to bring it back to look like it's exposed uh, correctly. And you don't wanna shoot it too dark, obviously. I mean, if, it, if it's too dark outside, it's too dark. You need that good lighting to make a good picture. That's the most important part. Sounds good. Mine's super simple. White rice, potatoes, cheese, egg, yum yum teriyaki sauce, chicken, spicy chicken. You what did you put in up, yours, man? dog? What is I that? said, give me everything. It's everything. Everything, man. Got the sesame seeds in there, got the egg, double chicken. So you gotta add the protein. Yeah. Full loaded. That's literally everything. That doesn't even look like mine. They, they didn't want to be able to shut the lid, man. That's, they gave yeah. me no lid on it. Get your money's worth, huh? Mm -hmm. That's insane. How many horses this thing got? Wow, 
370. 370, that's it. it. Sounds like it has like 800. We got some more picks on the roof of the parking garage. Here at Crocker, which I just showed you a little bit ago before we got baby bop. We stayed there until these high school hooligans start doing circles with the car and just making a ton of noise. So we're not about to get arrested for something we didn't do. So we got out of there. Those are three tips to upgrade your Instagram photos. Hopefully you use them to your advantage and post new cool pics on Instagram. If you enjoyed the video, drop me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next Monday.